everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Pam and today's video is going to be my February wrap up so in the month of February I'm really happy to say that I read 10 books yes again so I read 10 books in January and I read 10 books in February so yeah I'm so 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 happy and I read amazing books this month like I gave them all five stars except for two yes and it's like four stars so it's really good i'm so excited to talk about those books with you guys so let's get started so the first book that i completed in february is morning star by pierce brown so i started this back in january and uh, my plan was to finish this in february and i'm happy to say that i did it was the first book that i completed and oh my god oh my god um this was the original ending of like the trilogy of the series of the red rising saga but now there's like additional books that were um you know headed so this is not like the real ending but i'm really satisfied with it so i'm not like really eager to like dive into the fourth and the fifth especially because they're so big and because i don't know i don't hone a copy of them so just gonna wait and it's totally fine for me but yes this is a fantastic conclusion and i'm sorry my cat is playing i don't know what it is about me sitting on the floor in front of my bookshelves and talking to you guys that makes him want to just play annoy me anyway this was an amazing conclusion for um, the series. This was even more political, like the world expanded even more. I It kept me on my toes. I didn't know who I could trust and who I couldn't. It, it was, wow, it was amazing. Really, really amazing. Yeah, I cried. <laughs> so um, yes, this was amazing. So a five out of five star. Next, I read Dry by Neil Schusterman and Jared Schusterman. Um, this is a, a dystopian in um, a certain certain area in the United States where there is like a drought. So in the water, and oh my God, did I got thirsty while reading that. I have a vlog where I'm talking about this book and other books that I'm going to talk about after that. I'm going to leave it in the eye over here. It's the 24 and 48 hour reading vlog, but yeah, if you want to check it out. This was really good. Um, I gave it a 4 out of 5 star. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, the only thing is I think everything wrapped up like too perfectly. Um, no one died. Like no like important characters died. Not even like the main character's family member that we didn't that the last time that we saw them it was like the first like 50 pages didn't die um it was just yeah it's just a bit unrealistic i know it's a dystopian okay i know but like no one died really like and and everything just go back to normal after there's like water i, I just i don't know it just yeah I just didn't like the ending basically so um that's why it's a four out of five star but yeah I, I i enjoyed it it was really good um it was my first neil schusterman book and yes it's not my last though so yeah next i read in the same reading vlog um pet by akweke amazi this was amazing this book is so short but there's so much in it like we're living in this world, like in this town called Lucille, where there's no monster anymore. So basically, um, angels or like basically good people uh, came into the town and got rid of all the monsters, the bad guys, um, you know, the rapists, the um, murderers, the abusers, they're all gone. And then her main character one day meets a monster and she's confused. And yeah, she's trying to figure out why it's it's here. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all I'm gonna say. But this was amazing. Like I said, it was a five out of five star. I really, really recommend it. 
I want to read more by this author. Um, yeah, I just love the writing style. I think the writing was absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. Next, I read On the Come Up by NG Thomas. And oh my god. Oh my god. I love that book. Five out of five star. I listened to the audiobook and oh my god. It was such a good idea that I got. Um, her main character is rapping. And in the audiobook, the narrator is rapping and sh the main character is rapping. Yeah, it's amazing. It's an amazing experience. Um, I really, really love her main character, Brie. I think she's really badass. And um, I think I prefer her to Star. Just because even in the beginning, she talks back to people. And she doesn't take shit from anyone. And I really like that about her. So, um, which is not the case with star especially in the beginning at the end she's you know she's more responsive um she's more like here talking back and not taking shit from anyone and yeah i just i really really loved it i'm so excited for concrete rose which is the third book in like the same universe like in this, it's the same neighborhood so i'm i'm really <laughs> really excited and we're following star's dad maverick um when he i think it's when he was in a gang um and yeah just trying to figure out his future and oh, i'm so excited i'm so 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 excited but yeah i really love that one um but yeah i really love that one it was amazing five out of five stars next another five out of five star <laughs> it is scythe by neil schusterman so uh, yes i read two neil schusterman's book this month and wow this book i got the hype now this book was big in my jenga to vr for like a hyped book and i i get it i get it now the hyped oh my god it was so so good oh my god i'm so excited for the second one but yeah oh my god oh my god i think that's what i'm gonna say it was amazing i loved the characters they're like so flawed they're not perfect in any way this book hit me on my toes i the twist the turns the world is so interesting so 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 interesting and i know we're gonna expand the world even more in the second book and i can't wait but yeah this was amazing I'm so excited for the second one like i said next i read why i'm no longer talking to white people about race by rainy edo lodge um this is a non-fiction about why i'm no longer talking to white people about race and it's uh all about the racism that happened and is still happening in the uk so um last year i read how to be an anti-racist by ibram x kendi which was more about the american perspective this one is really like the Britain perspective and i really really enjoyed it because there's so many stuff that i learned that i didn't know like there those stuffs are not taught in history books that's not really surprising you know because there's so many stuff that are just left unsaid um just to look better like the white people can look better which is fucking bullshit especially because canada's history is really intertwined with the uk history like because canada was a colony of great britain yes so i thought i would know some stuff but i didn't i'm really really happy that i read that book i annotate well i have a lot of parts um and i highlight some stuff and also write what the fuck this book made me really angry about white people and i'm included in that i'm just really sad and disappointed in humanity and white people yeah we we don't learn which is a fucking tragedy and um yeah that's why i'm reading books about black authors on these shoes because we need to educate ourselves and to educate our children and you know i'm an elementary school teacher and i hope that i am impacting some of my students on the issue so that's why i'm reading those books i just want to learn and i want to teach and impact children the future you know so yeah this book again like how to be an anti-racist is a book that i'm gonna lend to people around me to friends so they can add their own thoughts in it and yeah this is gonna be a study book so 
really excited and uh, yeah i'm really really excited to um lend it to our friends yeah super excited <laughs> next i read watch us rise by Ronnie watson and helen hagen and that book was a five out of five star it was amazing um yeah it was so 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 so, so good um this is a contemporary book following like two young teenagers um in high school um there are in this progressive alternative um high school where um in on the surface everyone is accepted and there's no like discrimination no bullying like it's really like forward you know but it's not deep down um and those two girls start a club a feminist blog and the school administration are trying to shut them up yes and they are not accepting this and yeah they're just like it's they can shut us up okay we're gonna scream even louder um and this was amazing this was really empowering and i i am an adult and i was empowered by this i wanted to go outside and scream stuff <laughs> i just wanted to scream that women has every right to do what they want with their life and yeah this this was so empowering i i wish this book was thought in school in high school for young girls i this book needs to be like a mandatory read and i listened to the audiobook for that one there's two like different narrators for the two main characters and that was perfect they had their own voices and even though they are like feminist and they consider themselves you know progressive um, they were confronted to the fact that they they're still learning and they're not perfect and they're gonna make mistakes and it's fine it's okay you just have to learn from those mistakes and I think that was a beautiful message so this was so good <laughs> next I read Bad Feminist by Roxane Gay I listened to the audiobook for that one and this is a uh, collection of essays by Roxane Gay on feminism, racism, sexism, all that jazz. And like I said, yeah, I listened to the audiobook and it was really like listening to a podcast. And I loved it. I loved it. There's pop culture reference in this. It made me laugh. It made me rage. It made me cry. This was so good this is a book that i'm sure i'm gonna go back to and just read favorite parts of mine and just yeah i i tabbed one part but yeah i really want to like reread it physically and just and i just tab my favorite parts so i can go back to it from time to time but yeah this was so good i really want to read more about roxanne gay um yeah i heard great things about her hot books so yes Next, I read How Our Stories, How Our Voices by, um, it, well, it's edited by Amy Reed. So this is an anthology about um, injustice, empowerment, and growing up a female in America. And this was amazing. I picked that book because I wanted to confirm or infirm if anthologies were or short story collections were for me. Um, but I I don't think this was a good I, uh, a good example because they get short stories that are nonfiction and just authors talking about like their experience is so interesting. It's not the same as fiction because in fiction I get attached really quickly to characters. I think that's why I can't read fiction anthologies. It's because I get so attached to characters like pretty quickly that when we're done with it i'm like no i want more i want more but then i have to get used to another character and it's yeah i think that's what is hard for me and that's why anthologies are really hard but then this one like there's no fictional characters so i i'm not attached to any characters i'm i'm just moved by the stories the, the real stories about those woman it was amazing there's some parts that made me so angry but it was so good i really 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 loved it and yeah i read like three nonfiction this month who am i 
who am I? And finally, the last book that I read is When the One is Watching by Alyssa Cole. This was so good. This is a four out of our star, but it's really close to being like a five out of our star. Like, I read that book for the Literally Dead Book Club, hosted by Kayla at Books and Lala. And um, on the Goodreads thread, there's a lot of people are saying that this is not a thriller, but have we read the same book? This is a fucking thriller. I'm sorry if the angle changed. I didn't have any memory left, but yeah. This was a trailer, okay? Like I said, um, I was so scared at some times. Like, the Huber part scared the shit out of me. Because this is, like, one of my biggest fears. To get kidnapped when I take a taxi. This is, like, one of my, <laughs> one of my biggest fears. So I was so, so scared for the main character. I was... Oh, my God. I, I, I was, like, literally, like, sweating. Like, fear sweating. The anxiety of seeing your neighborhood changing so fast and people disappearing is so scary. When you, like, you think you're fucking crazy, but you know you're not. Like, everyone around you is telling you that you're, that you're crazy, but you know you're not. That was so frustrating. <laughs> and I was so scared. Um... And the ending, the ending is a fucking thriller, okay? I don't know in what world you're living, but yeah. The thrillers that are more thrilling and scary are the ones that are so close to reality. And this one, this is happening in real life. And this could be happening in your neighborhood and you will never know. And that's so fucking crazy because this is so realistic. Yeah, so I just don't understand people, but yeah, I really, really loved it. If Alyssa Cole is writing more thrillers, I'm, I'm gonna read those, okay? This is like too close to reality and so scary. I read that book in like three days, okay? It was that good. And the audiobook was really, really good. Maybe if you are like struggling with the physical copy, go for the audiobook. It's really good. There's like two narrators for the two main characters, the two point of views. So it's really easy to see who is who. And I think maybe why people didn't really like that book because the two characters are really unlikable. Like they're, they're not. But I love those kind of characters. I think they're so complex and they have so much layers and so much complexity and I just love it. So maybe it's a me thing or yeah or a hus thing if you're like me. But yeah this was really really good. It was a close close five star for real. So this is it guys. This is my February wrap up. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!